In 1967, they decided to kill a disease, smallpox. We have never driven any infection to extinction. Smallpox was the very first time that finally the world got together and decided that if we were going to cause species to go extinct, let's do it for a good purpose, for a change. International teams of doctors and nurses were sent door to door tracing the last case of smallpox to Somalia. And it's absolutely amazing to see the way they, they did it. They had groups, teams of, of doctors and nurses and go all around the world in the, uh, in the, uh, the deserts, in uh, the Sierras, in the, all around the, uh, every country in the world. They vaccinated everybody. The smallpox virus can only grow in human beings. Vaccinations kept it from spreading to new hosts, so when the last victim recovered, the chain of transmission was broken forever. Smallpox, the disease, disappeared from the earth in 1978. Smallpox, the virus, is still around. These stark hallways lead to what may be its final resting place. Only two collections are left in the world, and they are kept in Moscow and here at the Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta. The World Health Organization wants them destroyed, but not everyone agrees. We didn't want to totally eliminate the virus box because we didn't really understand the virus and what made it tick. It's part of the whole basic fundamental argument about diversity, biological diversity. Can we afford to lose these organisms that have established themselves in a particular ecological niche. But the greater danger is the possibility of smallpox accidentally escaping from a freezer somewhere where there might be a forgotten stock stored or years from now where people have after people have forgotten about it.